confirmation there. If confirmation were needed that James Bond, without doubt, is the world's best secret agent. As you can see here at Pinewood, the world's press have gathered because we are minutes away from some big news about Bond 24 that is going to excite every Bond fan across the globe. The Bond films are based on the books of Ian Fleming, who first introduced the world to Special Agent 007 in Casino Royale back in 1952. James Bond was born. In 2012, the 50th anniversary year of Bond, Skyfall was the 23rd James Bond film to grace our screens and became a worldwide box office phenomenon. It opened at number one all over the world, taking over $1.1 billion worldwide and setting an all-time box office record in the UK by becoming the first film to take in over £100 million. It also became the most successful film ever released by Sony Pictures Entertainment. Yes, Skyfall was absolutely brilliant. And just in case you've forgotten how much fun that Bond movie was, let's take a look at Daniel Craig in action in Skyfall. Where are they now? They appear to be on the rooftops of the Grand Bazaar. So here we are at the legendary 007 stage at Pinewood Studios just outside of London in the UK. And if you've just joined us, where have you been? We are now just minutes away from a huge announcement that is going to confirm the title of Bond 24 and also let us know who the new cast members in that film are going to be. But let's not forget some of the past legendary actors who have taken on the role of Bond, including Sean Connery, who was the first actor to play James Bond in the Bond film franchise. George Lazenby, who starred in On Her Majesty's Secret Service back in 1969. Roger Moore, who incidentally started his acting career at RADA, where one of his classmates was Lois Maxwell, who went on to become Miss Moneypenny. Timothy Dalton then took the lead in The Living Daylights and Licence to Kill before Pierce Brosnan played 007 through the 90s. OK, as you can see, the wait is over in just a moment. Director Sam Mendes is going to be taken to that stage to announce the title, cast members and car from Bond 24. Seven. Bond. James. The name's Bond. James Bond. Morning, everyone. 
Um, morning, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to Pinewood Studios in London. Um, we are on, not inappropriately, the 007 stage, um, one of the largest stages in Europe, otherwise known as the stage where budgets go to die. Um, and I'm here to announce some details about the forthcoming Bond movie. I stand here on behalf of uh, the whole Bond family, uh, Barbara Broccoli next to me, Michael Wilson, Eon Productions, MGM Studios, and Sony Studios. Um, and uh, I'm going to reveal a few interesting tidbits about the movie that will be released in just under a year, along with, most importantly, its cast. But first and foremost, uh, I would like to reveal the title of the movie. Um, and the screen behind me, I believe, will do it in a far more dramatic way than I would be able to. So, without further ado. I'm glad you're turning. So there you have it. The title of the 24th Bond movie is Spectre. Um, those of you who have some knowledge of the Bond franchise and the legend of Bond will probably have some idea what that refers to, but I couldn't possibly comment. Okay, so details of the movie. Uh, where we are going to be shooting, we start shooting on Monday morning. We're in the middle of rehearsals at the moment. We've broken rehearsals to be here with you. Um, and we will be rehearsing, oh, excuse me, we will be shooting uh, in some fantastic places. Uh, here at Pinewood Studios, a magnificent facility, if you've never been here before. Uh, in London, uh, in Rome, in Mexico City, uh, in Tangier and Air Food in Morocco. Um, and taking Bond back to the Alps, to the snow again, in Solden in Austria. Uh, all of them amazing places, and I'm very excited to be going to all of those locations over the next seven months, which is how long we will be shooting. Um, I was very lucky on the last movie to have an incredible team supporting me, and most of those people are back again. Uh, production designer Dennis Gassner, uh, costume designer Jani Tamim, head of special effects Chris Corbold, head of stunts Gary Powell, head of visual effects Steve Begg, uh, composer Thomas Newman, uh, and most importantly, the same writing team, exactly the same writing team as wrote Skyfall, uh, John Logan and uh, Rob Wade and Neil Purvis. Uh, we're very, very lucky to have them back again. Uh, and two crucial new figures, uh, editor Lee Smith, who I'm really excited to be working with, um, and a wonderful cinematographer, Hoyt Van Hoytemer, who some of you will be familiar with from uh, Let the Right One In, Tinker Tailor Soldier Spy, Spike Jones is Her, and most recently Christopher Nolan's Interstellar. Um, all of those people uh, and many, many more stand behind me, and I speak on behalf of all of them when I say we're very excited to be on the verge of shooting this new movie. So, uh, on to the most important thing, which is our cast. Um, uh, the first cast member I will introduce to you is a non human cast member. Over to my right here, I am really excited and thrilled to be able to say we have continued the 50-year relationship with Aston Martin, uh, which began right at the very beginning of this franchise. And together we have worked on designing a new car. Um, and so I can reveal, as long as it doesn't snag on something, uh, the new Aston Martin DB10. Here it is. Oh, it nearly. That's Aston Martin up there, applauding, by the way. Um, uh, a thing of beauty. And uh, you will see what it can do when you come and see the movie. Um, and now on to the uh, human members of the cast. Returning one of the great uh, luxuries, one of the great benefits of... Uh, coming back to a movie 
like this is that you've already established some extraordinary actors in the role to begin with. And uh, playing the home team, as it were, the MI6 Whitehall Brigade, uh, returning again as Tanner and Mr. Rory Kinnear. And as uh, a cue for a new generation, Mr. Ben Wishaw. And established in the last movie as Miss Moneypenny, the fabulous Naomi Harris. And right at the end of the last movie, he took over from Judy Dench as the new M, the extraordinary Ray Fiennes. And a new addition to the Whitehall family, playing Denby, Mr. Andrew Scott. Okay, on to the non-English, uh, non-British rather, members of the cast. Uh, fresh off a triumph, a uh, wonderful performance in Guardians of the Galaxy, playing Mr. Hinks, Mr. David Bautista. And now two actresses uh, that I feel very, very privileged um, to have uh, persuaded to join this cast uh, are Bond ladies, the first of whom an extraordinary actress playing Lucia Schiara, Ms. Monica Bellucci. <laughs> and playing Madeline Swan, Leia Seydu. Um, and uh, you know, if our visiting cast, um, the final and most important member, I think uh, an extraordinary actor, I could not be happier than to be having him in this cast and joining us on this journey, Mr. Christoph Waltz. And last, but by no means least, uh, my friend and collaborator around whom we build this movie as we should build all Bond movies, playing Ian Fleming's 007, Mr. Daniel Craig. That concludes the event, um, and uh, we are very, very excited. I think I speak on behalf of all of us to say we cannot wait to bring this movie to you in just under a year's time. We hope you like it, and uh, we'll see you then. Thank you very much. So there we have it. The announcement is over. We do now know some brand new information about Bond 24. First of all, the movie is called Spectre and it's going to be starting its seventh month shoot very soon. Visiting places including Tangiers, Mexico City, the Alps and of course here in London. The car that James Bond will be driving is uh, the car that... Uh, They've designed uh, themselves together involving Aston Martin. Of course, it is the Aston Martin DB10. And I guess one of the most important facts is who is joining the cast. Uh, joining the cast includes Leia Sidhu, Dave Bautista, Monica Bellucci, Andrew Scott and Christoph Waltz. So that is all the brand new information director Sam Mendes has gifted us today here at Pinewood Studios. For anything else, well, that'll be to come. The movie itself is released on November 6th, 2015. Thank you for joining us today here at Pinewood Studios. Bye-bye.